Hello guys, welcome to our October Disneyland trip. This was, at the beginning of the year, our only Disney trip apart from February of the year, and then we managed to sneak in an August one, which you guys would have just watched if you've been sticking around recently. But yep, yeah, we're starting today's vlog from the Euro Tunnel again. Found it a lot easier to do so, and we've had a stressful one this morning as well. Yep, yeah, Margot's saying hello. We, uh, we were meant to get the half 12 crossing today. It's currently, half one still not on the train uh big traffic coming uh to the euro tunnel on the m25 uh also forgot the pram things just weren't going our way this morning but we're here we're on our way and uh, about to board onto the train to get ourselves over to france So it's currently about three o'clock. We have ah! <laughs> we've probably been on the train for about half an hour, but we've only just got moving really. Um, big delays pretty much all day today, which has not been handy considering we are planning to try and get into Disney Village tonight for, they've got like a Halloween event going on. Um, looking at it now, we're still hoping we can, but mm, maybe not because of the amount of time that we're, uh, we're spending actually traveling today. This was meant to be, like a travel day was probably about what five hours long altogether yeah. and I think it's I mean it took five hours just to get to the Euro tunnel where it's supposed to be a two-hour journey so yeah um, but we're finally on the train getting over to France it's been a long one already though hoping that it's a quick drive to our first hotel because we're staying in two we're going to the Nova Hotel first tonight for one night and then we're going over to the Adagio after that for the rest of the trip So just a quick update on the vlog whilst we're still driving. It's now 10 to 6 and we've decided to scrap the I'm Disney I'm village I'm idea. Margot wants to tell you something. Disney. She loves Disney, there we are. We've scrapped Disney village. I think it's just gonna be too late by the time we get there. Obviously, Em's been driving since uh, nine o'clock this morning. So, you know, oh, looking at a 10 hour day of just driving for her. So what we are gonna do instead is actually just head over. So we're staying at an Overtail, I mentioned that earlier. We're gonna head over to the supermarket, which is across the road. We've not actually um, done like a, a look around a French supermarket for, for quite a while. We like looking at all the Haribos, we like picking up all the sweets from there. And last time we were in Paris, we had a beer in uh, Sequoia Lodge. I think it was something called Grimberg, which is something that you get in Belgium. Um, and I believe they do crates of it here. So we want to pick up a crate of that beer as well, which would be nice. So yeah, we're going to go have a little look around the supermarkets, get Margot to bed because it's going to be late. And then, um, we're going to drive to the Adagio tomorrow morning and go to Disney from there, which I think is a much better idea than just trying to squish something in. You know, I know there's an event going on tonight there, but there's no point in trying to squish it in. It's going to be raining anyway, and we'll only be there for a couple of hours. It won't be worth it. Finally at the Novotel Hotel. It's like eight o'clock at night. So late. Can we not get in that one either? Oh, phew. Okay, so we've just checked into the Nova Tower Hotel, uh, sixth floor room. Margot wants to say hello. But um, yeah, nice small room, but it'll do for the night. Got a nice little toilet in there. Don't know why the French always have their bathrooms and toilets separate, pretty weird. But yeah, no bath, unfortunately. Emily was looking forward to a bath tonight, but just a shower. Rituals bit so, which is quite nice. Nice big mirror, all your towels. <laughs> oh, very nice, Margot. Got a safe, got a fridge, bottle of water with no water in. Not very handy there, but kettle with your tea and whatnot. Nice big bed. Emily has already checked for bed bugs. You know, the crisis. And <laughs> Margo's very chuffed with her bed as well. Was it comfy? Yeah. Go have a lay on it then, test it out. Nice? Yeah. Very good. And then, what view have we got? Oh, I don't know if you can really see, to be fair. No, we're pretty high up, though, regardless. Oh, yeah, there you are. Quite high up. So 
really late now, quarter past eight. We did want to go over to the uh, casino shopping centre or whatever it was, but it's probably a bit too late. So I think we're going to go to the restaurant, have some food there, and then get to sleep straight away. And we might head over to the shopping centre in the morning before we go to Disney. So we've come into the supermarket. I think it's care for or car for. I'm not sure how you say it. But obviously, as you know, we love our Haribos here. And uh, they have not disappointed on the Haribos. The Halloween Mega Mixes are in. Oh, they just look delicious. I mean, these Smurfs, super sour ones, a Euro 66. Look at the size of the pack compared to the ones we get in the UK. Oh, these are the best. Honestly, our favorite, without a doubt. I could just spend my whole week here. So we'll definitely be picking up some Haribos and some dinner as well, but got a whole supermarket to explore. Got some Spider-Man Halloween costumes here as well. <laughs> Margo can Disney bound in a Spider-Man costume. Yeah. This looks good. Got some pizzas here, cakes. I think Emily just mentioned there's some pizza slices over here. Ooh, not a fan of whatever. That is not looking good. Yeah, we've got the fruit section here, all fresh fruit as well. Looks pretty wiped out, obviously. It is half an hour till it closes. What else have they got here? Like, I think it's like mm, a bit of chicken. Hot as well for only two euros, that'll do. Got all your chocolates here as well. Huge bags. I mean, look at the size of these compared to what we get in the UK. 600 grams. Margot likes to look at those as well. Oh, Kit Kat ball. What in the world? They look delicious. Loads of Kinder Bits here as well. So we've just been to the shop. Um, we can confirm we are not heading back tomorrow. Too chaotic. We just want to be in Disney where everything makes sense because it just made no sense. But I just wanted to show you what we picked up. It was about 35 euros for everything, but obviously you know we love the sweets. Picked up some great sweets here. These are Margot's favourite, but these are our favourite, the Crocs. Um, so yeah, grab those. A bit of dinner tonight for me. It's a it's a cold pizza, pretty much what it is. Three euros fifty. It'll do. Emily's gone for baguette, avocado, mortadella. Lovely. And then this is a beer I was talking about. Six euros, six cans. This is delicious. Can't find it in even the Belgian bars that we got locally around ours. So uh, yeah, it was definitely something that we wanted to pick up. And then just a few breakfast bits, uh, six euros, that'll do for the week. And then Margot, she was a bit hungry, so she got herself a little happy meal. Asterix puzzle, four euros, that'll do. And you even get a nice little ice cream with it as well. So that's your pudding, isn't it? But you have to eat all that first, don't you? So just heading downstairs before we sign out for the night, but <clears throat> earlier on I showed you a um, empty water bottle in the room and I said, hmm, I don't know why they've done that. Well, actually, it's because down the hall they've got water machines and you can just fill up your bottle there. So I just had to run downstairs and grab this. If you don't bring one of these abroad with you, make sure you do. Honestly, this is the best thing you'll do. You only need one plug and then you can just use your British plugs for the rest of it. Absolute game changer. Morning, guys. Sorry we didn't sign off last night. Absolutely shattered. But it is the start of our first day. It's currently 20 to 9, so we've had a bit of a lay-in, we've had a bit of time to get ready, Hi. and where are we off to now? Disneyland! We are, we're a 20 minute drive away from Disneyland, we're going to go to the Adagio first, check in there, we can't actually go into the room yet, so what we're going to do is just put our I car love there, Disneyland. you do love Disneyland, we're going to put our car there and then walk straight into the parks, it's a 5 minute walk, so it's going to be nice, but I've took a couple of bags down already, got a few more bits to take down to the car, and then we are on our way. Sign for Disney. We're close, heading to the Adagio now. Not far to go, and then we're gonna park the car up and head straight on into the parks. I saw yeah, looking a bit rainy, but the weather doesn't say rain, so I'm hoping it goes away because this will be the first time we've ever had rain in the parks. Pardon, Margot? Oh, what is it? All oh, right. <laughs> Made it to the Adagio, and room is ready or already, which is really handy. So we're going to bring our stuff in, 
and then go straight to the parks. It's literally we walk down this road here, cross the road, and then straight down and we're at Disney. Just checked into the Adagio, nice and early. I was surprised the room was ready, but uh, we've got a smaller room than we did last time, but absolutely fine. Does the job well. Starting off here uh, with the little toilet that they've got. Nothing special, but all good. Got a nice full length mirror to check yourself before you leave. Going through, this is Margot's bed. Double pull out, that'll do for her. Always good to have the kitchenettes in these ones because you can store all your food. You get a dishwasher, you get, no, the fridge is this one, I believe. Fridge, which is good. Ooh, not great though. <laughs> Oh well, we'll put that in a minute. Get all your utensils, everything that you need as well in there. Got our bedroom, two singles pushed together, but it's fine, doesn't matter. We're only in here literally to sleep and that's about it. All your spare pillows there, again, really handy. Oh, that was a pull along one. Oh, somewhere in it. Oh, anyway, it's just coat hangers. And then you've also got your bathroom, Bath, shower, all nice and clean. Oh. oh no, it's that shower. In our old one, well in our last one we had one that was like a waterfall one as well. Um, and then you've got your sink. Really good value these ones, I think this was about four, was it 490 for the weekend? Yeah, so it's worth the money, do you know what I mean? You know, you get everything all included. You can make your own food in here. You've got a little stove. It's fine. And for that price compared to a Disney hotel, really, really worth it. So we're happy and we're, you know, like I say, a five minute walk to the parks. So we're gonna get ourselves unpacked and uh, straight in. So on our way into the park now, got that nice lake view from the Adagio. We missed that view. We enjoyed walking past it every morning in February. Um, a lot colder than I thought it was gonna be uh, in October we'd had last year it was really hot so we were preparing for quite nice warm weather but it's really chilly so yeah if you're coming in October prepare to, to either bring a rain jacket or some t-shirts I'd, I'd pack both but um, yeah we're now wandering into the park like I said earlier it's a nice five minute walk so not long at all um, and what park should we go in first we'll make that choice <laughs> oh whatever well, we choice made <laughs> we're going into Disneyland Park arrived all good, gonna check in, go through where the security. The uh, queue times are really short today. I think the longest I've seen posted is 35 minutes for Big Thunder. Hyperspace five minutes, Buzz Lightyear 10 minutes. Lovely, so I think it might be the weather turning people away to be honest. But yeah, we're gonna get ourselves in now, go straight into Disneyland Park. Here's this morning's view then of the Disneyland uh, Hotel. Almost done now, I think. I think they've actually taken all the walls down as well that were around the hotel whilst they were building. So this will be the first time we've ever seen a Disneyland hotel with no walls in front of it. But um, not outrageously busy this morning. Again, I said the wait times are low. So, you know, for October half term, I'm quite happy with this. Looking very spooky here then. All Halloween-y. Uh, and we've got Mickey and Minnie just up here waving hello to everyone in their Halloween outfits. Very nice. Got some big ghosts. Margot's. Have you spotted Mickey and Minnie? Oh, they're blowing you kisses, Margot. Looks very good. Oh, I can't wait to walk down Main Street. More really cool decorations here. Big Mickey pumpkin. Some vines up there. And then got some ghosts up here as well that Margot's taking an interest into. Very cool. And then you got all your Halloween decorations down Main Street as well. Look at that, this is looking really, really good this year. 
coming into the shops. We're going to take it really nice and easy today, um, just because we've got some time. Looking around, oh, Christmas is, yeah, this is a Christmas shop already up. I know it's Halloween, but can't resist looking at Christmas bits already, can we? This little mug here, I think. Is this a mug? Yeah, it's mugs. How much are these? 22 euros, that's actually not too bad. Little Mickey on the top as well. Oh, little advent calendar. I think it's a tea one, though. Not for me, I prefer chocolate. Yeah, you got your stockings up there as well. Nice throw. Oh, there's some more Christmases there. Got some hats, jumpers. Let's see how much the jumpers are, just out of interest, because I don't really like the look of it, but let's just see how much. Mm. Oh, it says here. Oh, 60 euros. Mm, probably not for me. Oh, they've got some new lounge flies here as well. Oh, these are cool. Aha, uh -huh, I love the tree decorations. Oh, these are really sick. Look at these. 18 euros each. We obviously get annual pass discount as well, so it's not too bad. Yeah. Oh, puzzle. I thought that was a calendar for a second, like an advent calendar. Puzzle. Oh, a thousand pieces. I don't have the patience. Oh, ah, Christmas stitch. 26 euros. That's cool. A big one. How much is a bigger one? 30 euros. Oh, Emily's found something. Let's see what she's found. Oh, wow. Look at that Christmas decoration. How much is that? 15. That's not bad, especially because we get discount. Is it Tinkerbell on the top as well? Wow. That's a really nice decoration. They've got it in white as well, but mm, not a fan of the white one. And all of these are 15 euros. Well, 15 to 18. Yeah, I really like this one. I may even consider picking that up. That is really cool. A new Christmas collection. You can actually find this in Orlando as well, which is really cool. But um, yeah, I've got the ski collection going on here. This is a much better quality looking jumper compared to the other one. Much prefer this. See how much it is. Do they have a price? They do. And it's 70 euros. So a little bit more expensive, but I do think with the embroidery it does look a lot better. Yeah, really cool. Emily's just picked up a Phantom Mana Magnet. Oh no, started raining. Oh, it's only a little bit of drizzle. I was going to say, show the, uh, show the Phantom, Mana, uh, <laughs> Phantom Mana Magnet that you just picked up. They haven't had new magnets for ages and we come, come today and they've got some new magnets. This was uh, €8.10 Euros 10 with our annual pass discount. Really cool and obviously it's only appropriate because it's Halloween that we pick up the Phantom Mana one. They did have... <laughs> A Tower of Terror one as well, which we might pick up as well, but this one was a must because it's Halloween. So, we've got a nice little view of the castle today. There it is. And I've just picked myself up a new pin as well, the new Spider Man Halloween uh, exclusive. Almost sold out this one, I could hardly find it, so I'm quite glad I managed to pick it up because it did release at the start of the month, so it's definitely, yeah, you know, almost gone now. But we're going to take some photos in front of the castle. This is the last time I'm going to be here for quite a while now. Because um, obviously we have just booked Florida. So yeah, we're going to make the most of getting some photos. And uh, it's quite quiet around the castle. So you should be able to get some, some good ones. We're starting off the day with... It's a small world. We did want to go on Phantom Manor first because of the Halloween vibe. But Margot wasn't feeling it. She wants small world. So it's a five minute wait. Basically a walk on. We're just going to go straight on. Front row for It's a Small World. First time. We never get front row for things, do we?
Is that Ariel? Wow, we've noticed a mermaid one here. <laughs> And we've uh, just come off of a small world and the parade is starting. So just so you know, the parade starts at half past 11. Well, strike a luck. Margo's on Emily's shoulders there. It was good to catch the parades, same one as last time. I was expecting a Halloween parade, so I don't know what went on there. I really, f I feel like. Ah, oh, I so see. So they're doing Disney stars now, and then Halloween's later. Ah, That's so we still get a, a Halloween parade. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go and uh, try out Casa de Coco now. A lot of people on Instagram have recommended that one to us, and um, we saw it last time. We got a few photos outside, but we didn't actually go in. So uh, we're gonna go try it out. It's a quick service Mexican food. Um, so I'm looking forward to trying it and it's quite cheap as well I think it's about nine euros for a, for a burrito so that's what I think I'm gonna go for the chicken one um, and they have churros there so I might have to try them out as well Emily's just gone to order the food but I thought I'd just show you the theming in here it's just really cool so the restaurants actually in there this is kind of a seating area you're opposite Big Thunder over there and oh my gosh just looks amazing I'll let you know how the food is, obviously. I'll show you what we're trying, but yeah, looks really good. So we've gone for the chicken burrito here. Quite big, and definitely a lot in there. Feels quite heavy, which is good. Margot has got just a little pat lunch, but we also got some little chicken poppers. Got some fries. Emily's got the same. Is it nice? Ah, oh, decent. Yeah, I'm quite chuffed with this. And it was... Yeah, we did get annual pass discount as well. So it was 30 euros. So it is a little bit more expensive than I thought it would be, but it's a quick service. It's not bad, and yeah, it's probably better than... Oh, okay, so yeah. And I would say it's, it, it looks better than Casey's, and Casey's would be the same price. Found a cool photo pass uh, spot just here, and a photo opportunity. Margot's looking <laughs> a bit worried about these 
Now, <clears throat> uh, we just tried Casa de Coco, absolutely worth it, really tasty. Um, yeah, spot on, would we'll definitely go there again. Uh, we're now looking to go over to Phantom Manor, although the queue does look quite big. I don't know how well guys, uh, you guys can see, but um, it does look quite big. So we'll walk over and take a look first. And if not, <clears throat> Pirates is always on the agenda as well. So we can probably head over there if the queue's really long. Turns out the really long queue that I spotted was actually for the Jack and Sally meet and greet, which is just going on there. And Phantom Manor is just a 20 minute wait. So it's actually quite a lot longer than normal usually it is a walk on but um, obviously it is Halloween people will probably will be trying to go on this one more than any of the others we're happy to wait though Marga likes it and the queue's always moving because the carts are always moving so it's never really one that feels like you're waiting too long anyway as you're walking past you can get quite a good view of Jack and Sally just there signing autographs getting photos pretty cool So it wasn't too long of a wait for Phantom Manor. There was a big group of people taking photos um, in a queue line that held us up for a little while. But as soon as they moved, we walked straight on, which was fine. Um, so yeah, we, all in all, we did wait about the 20 minutes that it was advertised, which was fine. Um, we were happy to wait that. We're now on our way to Pirates of the Caribbean to do Pirates. And then I think we're gonna leave this park and head over to the Studios Park 
uh, and just do a little bit in the studios. Um, we've got a big surprise for Margot tonight, and she's oh, she's buzzing for it. And I can't wait for you guys to see it a little bit later as well. Um, so yeah, we're really looking forward to that. We're just kind of trying to kill some time at the moment, which sounds crazy in a Disney park. But our main days in the parks are uh, from tomorrow through till Wednesday. Those are the days we're really going to hit the park hard. So this is a, a chill day for us, which is nice. So on to Pirates we go. It's a 20 minute wait. Okay, not bad. Again, this is one that always moves. So it's not too bad anyway. Row one again. Oh my goodness. What is it with all these front row seats today? <laughs> this is the first time. And we got it on Small World. Ah. Oh. Lucky us, front row. So we had a nice ride there on Pirates and we've made our way through the park, had a nice gentle walk. We're going to exit, go to the studios, but first we're going to check out the shops right at the entrance of the park because they usually have the sale, item, sale items in and uh, if we can get some bargains we will. So not much in here, however Emily has just pointed out, do you remember the last vlog? She, uh, she broke her shoes. She said these are what she could have been wearing. They would have been nice. Why have you found something even fresher? Woo. Oh my gosh. There's something else. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, so it's either hit or miss with these ones. But uh, what is this? Right, put it on my head and then you can take the camera. You look great, it brings out your eyes. What is it? <laughs> Got a lot of uh, ride merch, loads of ride merch here. Um, kids, big fun t shirt or an adult one, which is cool. Really love the phone case, but it's 40 euros, so probably won't be picking that one up. 
hyperspace t-shirt don't really like the material on this but it's like kind of like a sport material but I like the fact that they're finally starting to bring ride exclusive merch in anything on the back yeah hyperspace on the back and on the bag as well and then we've got Pirates of the Caribbean cool little hoodie there the kids stuff's a lot better than the adults I must say now I have a little walk for Avengers Campus after browsing the shops we had to sit down for about 10 minutes just chilled out Margot's having a nap anyway so we're not really going to get on many rides while she's napping but big cue for Pim didn't rate it last time we were in there it's a shame first one right now it was absolutely delicious I think the uh, Spider-Man's not got a big weight either 20 minute single rider doesn't say what it is for everybody else it's just really not too busy today at all in these parks most rides honestly have just been get on and go but uh looks like the the guardians are in avengers campus there's usually a show every 10 15 minutes in here so yeah they do like a dance off just over there yeah no, all right try okay so does emily get this one or all right swap over well it's a tough choice this one What about, what about, both, <laughs> oh no, oops, on the floor, sorry, <laughs> we've gone for the whole outfit now, go on, give us a 12, oh, oh, there's something on the back, turn around, turn around, cut, something about being a chef in French, oh, pop that in the, <laughs> pop that in the pocket, Drink your tea out of this. <laughs> oh, yeah, if, if anyone didn't know, she's a rad to be fair. We just picked this up, a Buzz Lightyear hazelnut eclair from yeah from the little place near Toon Studio. Seven euros, you get this, and a bottle of Coke, which is decent considering Coke's four euros just for its uh, just for Coke, and that's five euros just by itself. So actually, that's a decent little deal. And then we says, yeah, it's really nice. So it might be. Might be one that we buy a couple of, because that's that's a good deal. Oh, I cannot wait to try it. So five minute wait for the Slinky Dog. Margot has just woke up after a nice rare nap. She never has naps anymore, so we'll take that. But uh, yeah, gonna pretty much walk onto Slinky Dog. I mean, look at that, it's a tiny, tiny queue. Um, and then my phone's about to die, and we've still got all of this evening to go, so I think we're gonna go and sort Margot's surprise out and then go back to the hotel get some charge on our phones and then come back ready for a nice dinner tonight at Billy Bob's On to Cars Road Trip now. Nice little ride on Slinky there. Margot really enjoyed that one. It's probably one of her favourite rides. Oh, here she is. Where are we going now? What ride? Cars ride, yep. Yeah. Always a proper short queue in. Obviously loads of people can get on this, so it's always pretty much a walk on. Definitely a walk on this time though, look at that. Hardly anyone here. It's nice for like a 10 minute sit down as well. Les attractions au bord de la route ont été construites pour divertir les voyageurs. Le garage, Pando. You ready, Margot? It smells so good here. Like, it smells like pirates, doesn't it? Oh, if you know, you know. 
He is going to start wobbling. So, we've just come off Cars Road Trip. Emily's just found this really cool looking cupcake. What flavour cupcake is it? Vanilla? No idea. No idea. Well, Margot will see because it's for Margot. Just going to grab a photo of it, but little Pixar ball on there, really cool. Four euros, 50. No, we don't get discount from like the little stools either, do we? So no annual pass discount on these. That is cool. Would you like, I think we need to phone Annie and Granada. Show, show me your money. Okay, so we've got some, do you want to pay for Nanny and Grandad to come to Disneyland? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, should we phone them and ask them if they can come? Yeah. Well, they, they might be busy, but we'll phone them and ask. Yeah. Okay, go on then. We'll give them a, we'll give them a ring and ask. I can't. I want this money. And what are you going to do with that money? I'm, I'm going to pay. Okay, let's, let's see. Let's find out. Oh, it's just phoning Nanny. Oh, she hasn't answered yet. She might be busy. <laughs> well, tell Nanny. Say, 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 Nanny. Say, I've got twenty-five euros. If you're, if you're not busy, can I pay for you to come to Disneyland? So we're at the hotel at the moment. Yeah, at the hotel. We're room what number are we? Three hundred and thirty, aren't we? Yeah. Right. Okay. So, sh should we pay for them then? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I'll t I'll take the money then. I'll take the money. Well, no, I've got to take it because I've got to pay for them. Yeah, and then we'll go yeah, downstairs. We'll, yes, yeah, so we'll take that money downstairs and we'll go have a look, shall we? Should we go check? Should we see if we can pay for them? Pardon. Okay. You might be there. Oh, you, you just paid for them, so I hope. Is it? <gasps> no, 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 hello. Come on. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Oh, my God. So, we surprised Margot with Nanny and Grandad. She thinks... Yeah, she thinks she's paid for him, bless her. But, um, no, it's it was... Long surprise in the making. We've been planning that for a while, and it's nice. It's the first time that we've ever been to a Disney park uh, with other people, not just ourselves. So Margot seems. Are you happy, Margot? Who's here with us? Ah, oh, is that good? <laughs> so on our way to Billy Bob's now for the buffet. I think it's for about 40 euros per person, which isn't too bad. Uh, but we booked this as a nice little meal. We've also got downtown tomorrow, which I don't know how we wangled that one, but we've managed to get it. But um, I've heard good things about Billy Bob's. Never been there, um, but it's a Tex-Mex all-you-can-eat buffet, 40 euros per person. It does include a drink as well. So yeah, looking forward to going there. Just rushing through Disney Village. I've ran ahead to get our table because we are slightly late. But um, yeah, looking forward to it. Got my first plate of food. Shelly, what's this? What's this beef? Oh, yeah, looks nice. Got some meatballs, barbecue chicken wings, chicken bites, little potatoes, empanadas. The whole lot on here. Looks good, to be fair. Marsh has moved on to his dessert now. 
What you got there, Marsh? Um, the he's, a pro he's done this before, he's a professional, look at him. Yeah. <laughs> Just finished in Billy Bob's then. Didn't show you too much of it, it's quite busy in there. Jam packed with school kids on a school trip, but um, five. Out of ten, maybe maybe a six, Marshall. What would you rate, Billy Bob's? Uh, six. Six. Yeah, it was it was it was good. It was all right, like for for Disney, and it was worth the money. We didn't pay, you know, an arm and a leg for it. It was thirty two quid, so it wasn't too bad. But there are better places to eat. Downtown being one of them, and we've got that book tomorrow. So, yeah, I would say if you can get a reservation there, that goes way above what Billy Bob's will do. <clears throat> and downtown is also uh, a bit tex mexy as well. So. Yeah, but it was alright, not too bad. So we're walking back to the hotel now. It's been a long day. We've had a look around World of Disney, had a look around a couple of shops, but it's I mean it's only half eight, but we've been uh, on the go pretty much all day. I've been up since five, Margot's been up since about six. So we're gonna go back to the room now. I think Em's gonna have a bath. I'd like a shower to be fair, and I think what we're gonna do is just chill out now, um, go to sleep, and then we've got the magic hour in the morning. Marsh is going to be joining us. See you in the morning, folks. On the, <laughs> on the rides. Um, so, yeah, we're going to try and get front row. Hello. Hello. Going to try and get front row on as many of the coasters as we can. Uh, I, like I said in the last vlog, uh, a flight force is just a different ride when you sit at the front. Sorry about the lights, by the way. They're really ruining the face. But yeah, no. Nope. Thank you guys for watching. I know it's been quite a long day one vlog, but it's been split over two days. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, and we'll see you guys tomorrow for, that's better, day two.